It is Mark Williams with Premier Basketball Report here after day two at Super 64 at the Field House here in Frisco, Texas. Here with PBR National Scout Joseph Dean, PBR National Scout Jason Key. All right, so let's recap. Day two, uh, who's your standout player for day two, Joseph? Well, I could tell you uh, it's been a really exciting day um, watching tons of games and watching uh, a lot of talented kids. Uh, my standout player today is going to be Sierra Porter, um, Missouri commit, um, big 6'5 kid that plays uh, with the Missouri Phenom. Um, she really, really played well um, the last two games I watched her play, um, and today she really, really got after it. Um, that's a kid. She's really scrappy. Um, she's always on the floor. She wins 50-50 balls. Um, one of the most impressive things about her is a big 6'5 kid that could step out, knock down a three, uh, and she's a monster around the basket. So she's going to be my standout player today, Sierra Porter. Sounds good. And now, Jason, who's your standout player today? Mine is uh, Kalani Brown, 2015, plays for the Lady Pumas. Uh, outstanding. Goes straight line, bucket to bucket, controls the boards, finishes everything, makes your free throws. Uh, does a great job of closing the lane. Uh, we saw her go out, uh, play a little bit out today. Did a great job of playing off her girl, but cutting off the penetration and not uh, closing quick enough to not allow a clean look at the basket. Uh, outstanding player. Excellent. Now, my standout player for today is uh, – Dayton commit, 2014 Jenna Burdett. Uh, against St. St. Louis, she was phenomenal, taking off the dribble, hitting the three, finding a teammate. Uh, they had fits trying to stop her, and, and at will, she scored against St. Louis. Uh, San Antonio, she did the same early, got a lot of success. Toward the end, the grind of, of four games in two days, you can see some legs. They're not quite there. Uh, but Dayton got a gym with Jenna Burdett. So those are standout players amongst the many that we saw today. Um, some very outstanding games, especially in our premier division, who uh, under the radar played well and something, somebody that college coaches should be uh, checking out, Jason. Who was yours? A big six-foot wing for the Wichita Phenom, 2015 Jalen Agnew. Uh, at six foot, gives you good size at the wing, uh, great shooter, hustles, plays well. Again, uh, something he alluded to, alluded to earlier, 50-50 balls. She ate up all of them, uh, made the chippies, made the free throws, just did an outstanding job when I saw her today. Excellent. Joseph, who's your under the radar? Well, uh, I'm going to go with uh, 2019 uh, Jada Owens of uh, Texas Fire Red, uh, a 5'6 guard, um, who is a quality player um, with loads of next level potential. Um, very young kid, just going into the seventh grade. Um, and, you know, it's not often we get to see those young kids play a whole lot, but I watched her today. Um, and, I mean, she's really savvy, um, really head smart. A really heady kid uh, and showed a lot of maturity playing with the older kids. Um, didn't get frustrated. Um, and one of the things that I questioned as I watched the players, like, you know, I really want to see this kid shoot the ball. Well, as soon as I said that, the kid knocked down two threes, hit one mid range. Um, so it was really, really impressive. Um, this is a player to watch. Um, I project this kid to be a high major kid in the class of 2019. Very good. Well, that's very impressive. And she was playing up on the varsity level. Uh, which is very outstanding, very, very outstanding. My under the radar uh, is actually 2014 Gabby Bowie, San Antonio finest. Uh, and she played well in the first one, but especially her defense in the second against uh, West Virginia Thunder, her defense on Burdett um, and, and Mikkel Johnson kind of went back and forth. They had her just, just mirroring them and, and, and just on them and physical, good feet. Great hands, active hands, great understanding of help side, good basketball IQ. Um, offensively, she made great decisions, um, hit the shot when she had it, um, and really did well uh, today, really against the West Virginia Thunder. So there's some players that stood out, some players on the radar coaches need to make sure and check out. Um, Premier, the Premier Division, down to the Final Four. Yes, sir. Final Four. And this is what our look, what our uh, Semifinals are, you got Lady Pumas Elite 
versus North Texas Shockers 2014. What do you see in that game? Um, well, what I see in that game, uh, it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a really fast-paced game. Uh, the guard play of the Lady Pumas, uh, they like to get out and run. Um, I think that um, Kalani Brown uh, will dominate the glass uh, and play really, really well. Uh, I'm going with the Lady Pumas in this matchup. North Texas Shocklers uh, is a really talented team, uh, but they won't have anyone to uh, keep uh, Brown in check. Um, and I think that those guards that they got, they are really, really solid. The Shockers are they the Shockers play fantastic defense. I mean they're college level defensive team, but Kalani Brown is a handful. So it'll be interesting to watch them play. Yes. Now, the second semifinal pits San Antonio Finest versus Duncanville. Now Jason from Duncanville, born and raised. Uh, what what's your opinion on the semifinal? Um, you gotta go here you got best team in San Antonio Finest versus best player. And Ariel Atkins. Uh, when you have the best player, you always have a shot. Having said that, uh, I just see way too much depth, uh, especially on the inside with the finest. Uh, I don't know how they can control the wings and the post uh, uh, positions. Uh, Duncanville controlling San Antonio's finest. So I would definitely favor them. And I believe San Antonio's finest is uh, the best team in the tournament. So there are my odds on favorite to win the whole thing tomorrow. Excellent. So that would put us Lady Pumas elite, San Antonio finest in the finals. Super athleticism, a big, a high, high major big, and a stud guard, Rasay Caldwell, Amber Ramirez. It's going to be a great game. And guess what? If you want to see it, see the finals of the Premier Division, 11.30 a.m. at the Fieldhouse. This is Mark Williams with Premier Basketball Report. And Joseph Dean. Jason Key.